and welcome my name is Bailey Moss and in today's video I'll be showing how to automate the generation and sending of dynamic contracts for eSignature with Documents Core Pack and Power Automate. In today's example I'll be leveraging our integration with DocuSign however we also support Adobe Sign and AssureSign so it's really up to you to choose your preferred eSignature provider. But yeah let's let's go ahead and get started so so as always I'm going to open up my demo environment here it's going to be in the sales hub of course it's going to be the same functionality whether you're using a custom or out of the box model driven app really anywhere as long as you have a dataverse backend um, because because I'm going to be generating this from um, from dynamics I'm actually going to use the legacy winner record is selected action as my flow trigger um, but of course you can also um, go over to make.powerautomate.com and create a flow with um, whatever trigger you'd like and you can retain the same functionality but in this case since this is a contract I'm gonna go to my opportunities and specifically I'll be sending an NDA so so I'm gonna start from an opportunity so I'll go ahead and open up an opportunity here and to cr create that when a record is selected trigger I'm gonna go up top to um, the ellipses and then flow and then create a flow and and this will actually create my my flow as well as as trigger for me automatically so as soon as I hit continue and it makes that connection you can see it's it's created the flow and and set the trigger as um, when a record is selected which really means that I can actually trigger this directly from that that opportunity record but first things first I want to rename this so I'll just do um, send NDA for e signature e signature so that'll be my name and then I'm not going to make any changes to the trigger itself and now I'll add my first step so the first step in this process um, is going to be to get the signee so who am I sending it to in this case I want to send it to the contact and the owner because uh, and the owner of the record because there are two um, two signers on the template itself so so the first things first I'm gonna get the contact information by using get a row by ID or the, through the dataverse connector and so of course here I'm looking for the contacts and this is going to be get row by ID of course and then I need the ID which I'll pull from the trigger so I'll just go to contacts and that will be that unique identifier there now before I go too far I also want to rename this so I'll just do um, get contacts and then I'm done with that action so so now a new step same thing except this time I'm getting the owner of the record so I'll do get row by ID and this will be users of course because the owner is a user record so I'll go user and this will be the um, system users down there at the bottom next I need to grab the GUID for the owner so this time I'm gonna look up owner and this will be when a record is selected owner ID and then once again I'll rename this really quick and this will just be get owner is what I'll call it and then I'll go ahead and save this um, just an old habit of, of saving before before moving too far ahead but yeah so once this is saved I'll now add in the documents core pack part so so this is really only going to be two more steps but my next step will be um, our documents core pack actions which these actions are available in power automate already however if you have a documents core pack service you can connect this action to your service um, and of course it is included in the license but I'll go ahead and select documents core pack here and what I want to do is this is where I'm going to create my document from the template so so I'll go down to um, create document sync right there and you can see there's very few items I actually need to fill so we make our actions very easy to use either into a new flow or an existing flow wherever you want to generate documents or say send for e-signature but in this case I need to first define my template which is going to be NDA um, DocuSign I believe yep NDA DocuSign and now I need to define what it's running against in this case it'll be running against the opportunity to pull in the data um, into the template so I'll say opportunity and there it is unique identifier of the opportunity and then I want it to be generated as a docx for this kind of inter interim create document step but that's it for that step so I'll just rename this as well and I'll just say create NDA and now I'm off to my final step which is going to be actually sending it through e or sending it for e-signature so I'll go and hit new step here and then once again documents core pack select that and then it will be um, sign document job so if I can just find that here really quick sign document job right there and I'll scroll down but yeah so so this has a few more items that you need to find the first of which is going to be the 
um, record it's running against again. So this will be the opportunity in this case. So I'll say opportunity. The table, of course, that the um, GUID is related to is, of course, opportunity again. And then I need to grab the document job ID. So this is going to be the generated document. So I'm grabbing that from that previous step. So I'll say, OK, I'll grab this dynamic content. And then I want the document job ID there. Finally, I'm going to select the um, e-signature provider, which in this case is DocuSign. And as mentioned, you can, of course, also use Adobe Sign or Assure Sign. So I'll go ahead and select DocuSign here. And now all I need to do is define my signers. And that's actually why I um, retrieved the contact and owner from that opportunity record. So first things first, dynamic content. I'll do full, full name. And this will be the contact, so full name. And then I need the email, so I'll bring in the email here. And this will be in the contact email and then I need to set the in-person as false because we don't want this to be an in-person signature link we want this to be an email so I'll just do false and now all I need to do is add one more signee and fill it out so this will be the second signee as mentioned this is going to be the owner and it's because my template has two signature fields on it so I'll go ahead and define the signee name once again full name and this will be the get owner step and then the email so I'll go here email and primary email address and then finally in person is going to be false again but yeah it's really that easy as soon as I hit save this this power automates ready to use so so we'll go ahead and test this out as soon as it's done saving um, and and make sure that we actually re receive a document because my test record will it should send me an e-signature document so this is saved you can't test um, a winner record is selected um, flow trigger um, directly in Power Automate until using it at least once. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to navigate back to Dynamics. And then I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to refresh this a few times because it has a tendency to cache that there's no, no action available until, it's, uh, until it shows up. So let me just, once it syncs, I'm just going to refresh this one more time. And now it should be available. So, so let's go ahead and go to our flows. And there it is, send NDA for e-signature. So I'll go ahead and select that to run, and this will be my test running off this opportunity, interested in implementing Documents Core Pack for contracts. So I'll go ahead and hit continue, run flow, and then this should let me check the, the flow run. So I'll hit done. However, I'll go back, check my flow, and look at the runs history to show you exactly that it's running through those flow steps. So you can see here that it's already pulled in the, op or the trigger's been met, got the contact, got the owner, it's created the document already, and now it's sending for e-signature. So, so here in just a sec, in fact, I'll go ahead and on my other screen, um, open up my DocuSign inbox and, and just wait for that to show up. One fair warning, this can take up to 40 seconds, mainly just because we're waiting on the pass back from DocuSign. So we're waiting for this to be completed and marked so. Um, so yeah, we'll just give this one sec. And as you can see, it's completed. So only 33 seconds for that final step, a little longer than say sending, actually quite a bit longer than just say sending an email or saving as a note, but still not too long. So I'll go ahead and on my other screen, pull up that email that I received and I can also hit review document. And of course this is going more into just DocuSign functionality, but I'll just show you the template and, and show you where it's, so you can see here it's pulled in dynamic content, some some conditions through our template and of course my signers and my contact and owner are defined there one final thing i'd like to mention is be, when you're using flow you can also set a custom um, custom email subject as well as email content and bring in dynamic content into those two items um, using our our power automate action but yeah that's that's pretty much it in addition we'll be releasing or we've already released further videos on how to design the template that i'm using in this power automate as well as um, the full process, including using a one-click action. My contact information, along with a link to our website, can be found in the description below. If you have any questions or potential use cases, please don't hesitate to reach out, and thank you for watching.